Hey everyone, this is my uh, Witcher 3 uh, test for frames per second and an overclocked GTX 980 Ti Gaming 6G. Um, it's been a pretty good card so far. Uh, I just got it the other day and uh, I'm testing it out here so I want to show you guys what I've been able to accomplish. Uh, you can see those overclock numbers there. Sorry about the frame rate is uh, a little small because I'm using this in uh, the Steam counter here, but you can see right now, if you can look, it's running at 50 frames per second. Uh, that'll change. It averages at about 45 frames per second. Uh, this is running in 4K on my Philips 40-inch uh, 4K monitor here. It's really actually quite a nice monitor. Um, still hitting 53 frames, 49. 50 frames and we can jump into the settings here and take a look at what I've done. So some of the stuff I have turned off but for the most part we're running on ultra. So I'll start with the graphics. You can see that all these settings here we've got the resolution all the way up to 3840 by 2160. Um, Hairworks is turned off. That eats up about four frames per second and I don't really care about it. It's not that big of a deal. As soon as I start playing the game, I forget about it anyways. Um, you can see shadow quality I've turned down to uh, high just to get a few extra frames and uh, the water quality is also on high. Um, grass density is up and everything else is all the way up. Um, as far as post-processing is concerned, you can see uh, motion blur and blur is off. Um, you can see that some of these other settings sharpening down to uh, low. Um, Chromatic variation is off, depth of field on, and everything else there is on as well. So I'm just going to run around in this town here, and you can see that, you know, again, sorry about the small frame counter there. I'm running 50 frames, 51 frames per second. Um, really impressive, 55 frames per second uh, in 4K, 56, 57. I mean, this is incredible. Um, really incredible uh, for this card to be producing this kind of frame rates. Um, running at 71 degrees Celsius, which is, you know, is, is uh, actually a not too hot for this card. Uh, 50 frames, 54 frames. Um, you know, there's a lot going on in this town. There's a lot of people running around. Um, you know, light effects. They've got the sun up there somewhere. There we go. You know, None of those. Well, it hasn't quite set yet. Let's take it down to the sunset because it looks so nice. Go down, meditate for a little bit here. A couple hours. Where are we at? Almost. Let's go one more hour. Meditation. There we go. Eight o'clock. Oh yeah. Now we're in uh, magic hour, as you can see. <laughs> Best for tests. Yeah, so we're still running at 47, 49 frames per second, 50 frames per second. Um, it's quite impressive to see play this game on this monitor at that, you know, these resolutions and this quality settings. Oh, uh, look at those birds. That beggar there. Yeah, so overall, I'm really impressed with this card. I'm really impressed with this monitor, um, the Philips monitor. I'd, I'd um, suggest to anyone. It's, uh, it doesn't calibrate as well as, you know, my Dell next to it. It's 10-bit monitor. This one's running 8-bit. But, you know, overall, the quality is really good. Uh, you know, I enjoy it. Okay, here we're looking at 45 frames per second, 44, 43. There's, you know, a lot of detail in the background, all those buildings and stuff like that. So it does dip down. And you see that I've been averaging typically around 44 frames per second um, overall. And... Uh, but it will jump around back up to 50 here in this alleyway. Um, but overall, it's really great. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys are able to get some of the same results I'm able to get um, with this card. And uh, good luck in gaming in Witcher 3.